You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Today I have a familiar face, someone who ran for state representative, uh, Peg Curtis, good friend of mine. Hi, Peg. How are Hi, you? Hi. Nice to see you again, Mark. You too. Thank Peg, you for inviting me. You're welcome, Peg. This time you're in the role. You're not a candidate. You and I are candidates this time, but you are the chair mm -hmm. of our Gene Sullivan breakfast for the Brockton Democratic City Committee. Yes. This year it's going to be on Sunday, September 20th at the VFW post 1046 and I believe it's from 9:30 to 12. And this year we're very very lucky to get say, the state senate president Stanley Rosenberg to be our guest speaker and I know we've invited, you know, some of our other state people like uh, Debbie Goldberg and Suzanne Bump and I'm sure we'll get visits from other, you know, dignitaries from the Democratic Party. It's a great year to be a Democrat this year. Absolutely. There are so many good candidates this year. It's, it's going to be great. And this is my other hat. My full-time job is at Brockton Community Access. We don't do politics, but mm -hmm. private life. I'm the chair. I mm -hmm. just became the chair. Yeah. And I, the Republicans have been offered the same venue. They can promote whatever they want. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Mark D'Agostino was a candidate for school committee, and mm -hmm. Ray Hennigson, who was the vice chair, they're going to do a show, but after the election. Uh, okay, Tom mm -hmm. Minichello, who's not opposed on the Republican side, is going to be doing some Republican programming over here. So we get everybody on TV. Mm. But this breakfast is about a special lady. The yes. Jean Sullivan mm -hmm. was a good, good friend of mine, Paul Red Sullivan's wife. Mm -hmm. And Jean was a dear, sweet lady. She was, um, she... Uh, I never had the pleasure of meeting her. She passed before I met her, but... Everyone who's ever met her has said wonderful things about her and how dedicated she was to the Democratic Party and how much she did for it. And that's why this breakfast is held every year in her memory. And um, Sul Paul Sullivan will be there, otherwise known as Red Sullivan. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be his birthday in addition to um, the day of the breakfast. So it's a double celebration. And there may be a little surprise in store for we're gonna, Paul. We're going to leave it as a surprise. Paul is um, somebody everybody calls him Mr. Democrat. Mm -hmm. He was the chairman of the city committee back in the day. Not when I was first involved, but mm. that was Paul Stadensky Sr., mm. Doris Catrabone, who recently passed away. I've, I've been through a whole bunch of chairs because I've been involved in this since I was 14. Okay. okay. But um, Red Sullivan was the chair, and Jean was there completely along for the ride. Mm. Jean... If she didn't like something and she didn't agree, she'd, she'd give you a big smile, a little wink of the eye, a little blue eye. She's a white-haired lady. Mm -hmm. There's a picture of her on the front of that, mm -hmm. of her dancing on the beach, which we put on every single year. Mm -hmm. And she was just a delightful person. So it's wonderful to do something in her memory mm -hmm. every, every single year. So if I did want to mention that there are still, um, we sell advertisement to support the breakfast and support the Democratic um, City Committee. There are still tables available and there's still seats available. You can also buy tickets at the door. So um, if you haven't had a chance to beforehand, you can certainly call, um, come that day and buy a ticket and participate. Now, tell us a phone number so people can get in touch with somebody if they want to find out more. We are having a Democratic City Committee meeting on the 10th on of September, September 10th. but we don't have a location yet So mm -hmm. at the time of this taping. Mm -hmm. So a phone number in the meantime. 508-718-9626. Um, okay. So it's 508-718-9626, and that's um, Larry's phone. He'll pick up, he'll get, he's got the tickets, um, Larry Curtis, who's the treasurer. Right. And, um, happens to be your husband. He happens to be my husband. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, um, we, have a, we have a Brockton Democratic City Committee Facebook page, so we'll be posting information up mm -hmm. there as well. Right. Um, we're going to do... Uh, so what? we'll post the time of the next meeting on yeah. um, September 10th and Facebook. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're working on getting our website back yes. so we can get the website back, which I think I'm going to get the same domain name, but I'm not going to say Brockton, it yet. Oh, BrockenDems.org okay. is Dot what org. we had. We're hoping we get it. Mm. And if not, we'll change it slightly so people know. Because nowadays, I mean, you can send a letter, you can send a postcard, you can make a phone call. Mm. But some of the people, even folks like myself, who mm. are getting up there a few years, like Facebook, like yeah. the web, like the internet and stuff like that. So we're mm. going to get all that information up. Plus, too, if you put up PenPal, too, it's an easy way to make a donation 
from the comfort of your own home. You don't have to come down to a meeting and you'd like to support yeah. the Democrats in your city. Um, you can certainly make a donation that way. Yeah, um, we're going to work on that too. Yeah. We're, we're and we're going to work on membership this year too. I'm yeah. very disappointed at the number of candidates that are running for office this year who are registered Democrats that are not members of the Democratic City Committee. And I think that's vital because it's a great way to network and to get, you know, voters. So I'm encouraging all of those, you know, who are running for public office to join the Democratic City Committee. And the way you can do that is it's a presidential election year in March. We'll mm -hmm. have a March 16th presidential primary. But prior to that in November, mm -hmm. there are, are going to be ward slates in each one of the seven wards. The mm -hmm. ward chairs will handle that. I and am ward chair six, the ward so six, they can the ward contact one. me that so way. Mm -hmm. we, and we have one through seven. Mm -hmm. There is no ward eight. Mm -hmm. That's the big joke. Let's go to the ward eight meeting. There's no ward eight, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, and what we're going to do is give people opportunities between now and November. Those papers aren't due till November, right, right after the election. We've got a busy season. we got we a preliminary do. election. This is two days before, mm -hmm. so all the Democratic candidates, it's a non partisan election, but mm. we're a Democratic organization, so we're going to all the Democratic candidates come, mm. and I'm going to hopefully so give some time to speak. All the Democrats get a chance to speak, but anyone who's not a Democrat is welcome to come, but they're not allowed to speak. Right. They're not allowed to participate, like passing out literature, but I'm sure... You know, they're welcome to come and they mingle. They can talk to people. And they it's can a free talk country. To you can talk to anyone you want. That's right. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, what we're trying to do is build up interest. I got involved, uh, the way I got involved was two ways. Mm. 1975, Paul, uh, Jimmy Carter, oh. and we hope he's going to be okay, mm. came to Brockton High and spoke. We had five no presidential kidding. candidates come to Brockton. That's what started me wow. off. And Paul Red Sullivan was involved at the campaign headquarters that I worked at. I took a class called Action Politics. 1976 mm. was the presidential election year when Carter was elected. Mm. Paul Sullivan ran the Democratic headquarters down on Belmont Street where mm. the DA's office was. Mm. And I learned a lot from Paul Red Sullivan. He's been a mentor of my whole life. Mm. And it was fun. It was the year that the Democrats won back all the seats on the county level because mm. the county was very Republican. So it was. It, it's really important. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, we lost our dear great Senator Thomas Kennedy. Mm. And we have a Senate election. We have Mm -hmm. at least one Brockton candidate right mm. now who's a good Democrat. Yes. We want to keep that in the Democratic column. Right. Okay, and we'll get we'll get to hear from the candidates for Senate that are Democrats that'll be able to run. Right. Okay, and we'll go from there, and we will probably have folks like Congressman Lynch there. You name Auditor Bump, mm. Treasurer Goldberg, Mara Healy. Right. It is the day after the Democratic State Convention. They moved it this year, so it's a little tougher to get people there. But we'll be good. We it's won't party busy. too much, and we'll come back mm. the next day, and we'll have a great breakfast. I had um, lunch today with Paul Sullivan, and uh, he asked me. He said, who's in charge of the presidential, um, you know, uh, campaign? And I was like, I'll get back to you on that. There you go. So, so he's planning to have Oh, he is. He he's is. So if you're interested March. and you want, he's supporting Hillary. Yeah. And um, he's not shy about letting you know about that. Nope. Nope. Um, so definitely either get in touch with Paul or myself and... Uh, We'll uh, talk about, you know, getting ready for the presidential. Because I know right after the special election There's in November. There's always an election pack. Boom. There's always an That's election. That's right. So mm -hmm. thanks for coming on. I'm yeah. just going to do a brief recap. Mm -hmm. um, you have the Brockton Democratic City Committee 15th Annual Gene Sullivan Breakfast featuring State Senate President Stanley Rosenberg. It's on Sunday, September 20th, 2015 at VFW Post 1046 on Quincy Street. And the hours are going to be 9.30 to about 12.30. We're mm. going to keep it, keep it light, keep it fun, and uh, come on and join us. But most of all, remember to go out and vote.